Hey, what's up, everybody who's watching this? I'm back from another weekend of drinking lots of beer to talk about video editing. And in this case, I wanted to talk about... I wanted to do something, I should say, called, like, Avid Guy Learns Premiere. I've been an avid editor for 20 years, and I'm starting to use Premiere more and more. So what I'm about to do today is a little, you know, I'm going back a little bit. I'm, I'm obviously a little more advanced in Premiere than what I'm going to talk about today. This is just basic workspace stuff, but hopefully this people will find this interesting. Avid Guy Learns Premiere, and this would be part one. Um, and if you somehow are able to watch, came to this channel somehow, please subscribe to it. There's nothing lamer than a YouTube channel with 20 subscribers to it. So if you would do that, I really appreciate it. So on to the main points here, what I'm talking about with Workspace's difference between Avid and Premiere. So when I'm in Avid, and I've been in Avid for 20 years, this is the 2018 version. I'll probably use be uh, upgrading to 2019 version in about six weeks or so, waiting for the bugs to uh, work themselves out. And I always have my project window right here, and I always keep my stuff bin right below it, and master's bin below that. My stuff bin is duplicate sequences, old things I don't need, phrase frames, slow motion videos like that. And I would always keep clips, uh, bins of like footage or graphics that I'm mainly working on. I'd keep it over here. And I would keep my, what I call them like my element bins, bins with my favorite effects or template sequences like that. I would keep that up here. And I would have my audio mixer over here. This is the left side, not the right side, of a two monitor setup. Hopefully, I'm back on the first monitor. So when I started pro using Premiere, I really tried to duplicate the Avid way. So I would open up this stuff um, folder and think of it as a bin, and I would then try to drag it to this bottom hole, and the same thing with the masters, right? So I would have it similar to what I would have in Avid. But to me, you can see in Premiere, these folders just have so much real estate used with this name and the search bar that there's almost no room to see the clips in the masters and the stuff. So it took me a while to realize that. And so I, you know, different tools for different things. I just stopped using this idea of full of folders as bins. And I just use one big project window, just like I would in after effects. There's folders, you know, there's clips inside folders, and I just open them up, or I search for them, right, of what I would need, um, especially when you get a lot of stuff in it, so just organizing this one big project window, rather than organizing, in a sense, different bins and clips within bins the way I did in Avid, so different way, different tools to get the same thing. In this case, with Premiere, on my left, my first left side monitor, I always kept this, I, now I only keep the, I keep the media browser up all the time, thinking or, of importing and stuff, that's what I use this space for, and I leave the audio mixer right here. Now, when it comes to the other monitor, what's interesting in is, in Avid, I keep my timeline down here. I keep my audio tool up here so I can watch the audio levels in the upper left, have my source record here, and in this spot, I put my effects palette, uh, I think it's control eight, just, you know, I could easily, very easily grab any effects I want to drag onto a clip and whatnot. So in Premiere, I do it very similar. I have the effects, I have the audio tool up here to the left. The timeline, I try to take as much real estate as possible here. I don't really use this that much, but I, you know, I leave it there. And what's interesting about um, Premiere, which will be interesting to see if I can do this in 2019 version, in Avid, you know, you can't drag this source monitor smaller or this record monitor smaller. This is all one window. You could make the whole thing bigger or smaller, but in Premiere, which is really cool. I could really almost get rid of the source, right? If I if I'm not say I'm only mainly going to going to work in the timeline. In that case, I could move this source one way or the other. And the same thing with the effects. Maybe I'm more working in effects, so I would drag this out more. So I keep my effects and effects controls here and I keep my source monitor and record monitor here. That is my personal main edit settings. I call this BT 2018 because I'm still using the 2018 version of Premiere. So I don't know, just some things to think about as an avid guy learning Premiere for the first 
time. And, you know, it was hard for me to find some videos like this, to be honest with you. There isn't, like, this basic stuff. Everybody just assumes you know everything. So I hope this, I know this is very basic stuff, but I hope this is helpful to some people. And I guess that's it. That's Avid Guy Learns Premiere Part 1. We'll keep this going, hopefully, in the future. And I'll see you in the next video.